Feeling lucky? From shamrocks to leprechauns and maybe even a pot of gold, St. Patrick's Day is being reimagined at the old Sacramento waterfront with a shamrock hunt filled with games, prizes, and live music. Downtown Sacramento Partnerships' Emily Cameron is here to share the lucky details. Hi, Emily. Hi. So St. Patrick's Day is next Wednesday, but we're in luck because reimagined fun will be throughout downtown in the old Sac waterfront. It'll start this weekend. Yes, we are taking the fun of St. Patrick's Day and extending it. So beginning Saturday, March 13th through the 17th, you're going to find two exciting ways to get out um, and celebrate all things green. We have a shamrock hunt as well as a leprechaun hunt that's specifically in the old Sacramento waterfront. And so is the St. Patty's Day fun, is it appropriate for all ages? And what's I'm, he I'm hearing about a shamrock hunt and a leprechaun hunt. Absolutely. So I mentioned we have two hunts this year. So the Shamrock Hunt, um, again, starting on Saturday, March 13th, is a virtual hunt. So you're going to download an app through um, your mobile store. So either your Apple or Google Play store, it's called Event Z. You're going to head over to GoDowntownSac.com to get all the details. Um, but you download this app and it's going to quiz you. So there's trivia questions, there's um, options to upload photos, and it's really going to get you to get out. Um, explore the district from a physically distance uh, way. Make sure to remember to wear your masks, but really enjoy all the things that make St. Patrick's Day so fun in downtown Sac. So you're going to um, get history questions related to the holiday. You're also going to find um, lucky specials throughout the district, and you're going to scan those QR codes as you discover each shamrock stop. And at the end, the top three hunters will find um, an incredible group of prizes from our sponsor, Xfinity. So things like free rides at the Ferris wheel in the old Sacramento waterfront to Yeti coolers, um, cell phone accessories, you name it. So a lot of fun. And then for the families, if you head down to the old Sacramento waterfront, we have the leprechaun hunt. So you're going to head over to the visitor center um, and uh, on second street in old Sacramento. And again, March 13th through the 17th, using an activity book with all kinds of family oriented hunts, you're going to discover um, fun stops right there in the historic waterfront area. Oh my goodness, it sounds like so much fun. Now, have you actually done these hunts, Emily? I mean, how long does it take and how hard is it? So it really depends on the user, right? I have, you know, uh, we first tried this out with the holiday window displays um, over the holiday season and it's so much fun. First of all, it's so easy. It's really user friendly. I mean, you head over to event Z, you add in the passcode that you get at the GoDowntownSac.com website and then you just, get started and it's really easy, you know, everything from uploading photos, answering questions, you know, you get bonus points when you make purchases. Okay. So it's lots of fun ways to really get out there. And it's, you know, again, it's, you're enjoying the holiday, but you're also supporting our businesses that still need that support. Yeah, very important. Okay, so you mentioned prizes. What else is gonna be going on? Do you expect to see people really getting into that spirit for the occasion? So both hunts culminate with live music at the Old Sacramento Waterfront on St. Patrick's Day. So, you know, in years past, we're really familiar with the um, St. Patrick's Day parade. And while we're still, you know, getting back to normal and you're not going to see that traditional parade in Old Sacramento, you're going to find live music playing from the balconies of Old Sacramento from 4 to 7 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day. And it's a great way to get out, you know, again, Get your Irish coffee down at Finnegan's, um, get your patio ding -ding and set up for a really fun um, holiday. You know, again, reimagine like so many other holidays over the last year, but um, really celebrate all things that are Irish and make it such a, you know, Sacramento centric and, and fun um, way to, to mark kind of really the start of spring. Yeah, and I guess it's probably a good idea to wear green because that's something that we do on St. Patrick's yes, Day. Because exactly. you know what happens when you don't wear green, right? <laughs> um, anything exactly. else you're encouraging for people if they're going to be festive? Should they be posting pictures? Are there photo ops? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, we want people to be festive. That's that's what's so great about the St. Patrick's Day holiday. So, you know, while you're out doing your hunt, make sure to get the green, um, take your photos. It, not only upload them in the app, but tag us on social media at Downtown Sac and at Old Sac. Um, you'll see that we're sharing photos and lots of opportunities to really um, show your Irish pride for <laughs> what is such a fun holiday. And Emily, I know that you guys are really making a conscious effort to do lots of different marketing um, for downtown and the Old Sac waterfront. And this is part of that campaign. Can we expect to see more of these type of events? 
Yeah, you saw this start last year when we launched the We Are Downtown Together campaign. So it's really been a constant drumbeat of ways that our community can connect with downtown and the old Sacramento waterfront and specifically the businesses. You know, we have over 400 um, locally owned independent businesses and, you know, some of the most, you know, unique and tasty <laughs> restaurants. Um, individual unique opportunities for shopping. So this campaign is really, again, kind of a way to make sure that our community knows that our businesses are still here, they're still open, and they're ready to welcome customers in a healthy and safe way. And so, you know, again, remember to keep COVID in check, wear your mask, maintain physical yes. distancing, all those protocols that we've all learned all over right, the last Emily. year. Well, we've got to go. Promising on the St. Patrick's Day celebration, visit GoDowntownSac.com.